and we back. Hey, this video is as weird as it gets. I was uh, reading the comment section as I always do, and I came across a comment from Jacob Phillips. He says, video idea. How good would every team be if they had a clone of their best player? What team would benefit the most from having two of their best player? Double Joel Embiid, double Giannis, two LeBrons on the Lakers. Kawhi Leonard got some insurance in case one of them go down with an injury, the other one step up. So in today's video, I basically just cloned every every uh, best player, which was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Shout out to 2K. Whoa. Shout out to 2K. One thing they did get right is the whole important attribute things. Easy. Cakewalk. And I say introduce you to every team because, well, obviously having two Joel and Beads would mean that um one of them would have to come off the bench. So because of that, I changed the positions of the clone. So this is Joel and B2. You always really know. Um, because, well, they'll be at a different position, but, you know, they look exactly the same. I just imported everything. It was pretty easy. This is not a one-year thing, though. I turned off salary cap, and all of the clones are on one-year deals. So, we could see... I don't really know. <laughs> I'm excited to see what the, this video turns into with the clones in the league. So, this is the new starter lineup of the, um, the, the, what team is this? The 76ers. They looking solid. The Bucks. This Giannis is a small forward, and Chris Middleton has moved up to a shooting guard, so they got two. The newer, the clone is actually better than the real Giannis because we changed position and, and everything, but he will also be a free agent. The Chicago Bulls has two Zach Levines. You need people to score the ba basketball. We got two of those. Oh, uh, actually, let me start looking at the numbers that they gave. So we got 34 and 31. Then Zach Levine was 12 and 8. Next, we have two Jared Allens. Um, you have a 31 Jared Allen. And then a 40 Jared Allen. Jared Allen is really weird um, because I don't know if he'll technically be a free agent because you can see his bird right years are two. Basically, if your best player was on a rookie contract, then I don't really know if you're going to hit free agency or restricted free agency. I don't really know. Boston Celtics have two Jason Tatums, one at the small forward position. And he's rocking the number five. And of course, you got the real uh, Taco J. The Cav not the Cavaliers, the, the Clippers have two Kawhis. Now, this Kawhi dropped down significantly because he is a power forward now. So, he's a 91, which is still elite, but it was the best way we could get both of them to start lineup. Then, we got two Ja Morants. This one is wearing the number five. Um, he's at point guard. He's a shooting guard. I, imagine him throwing the lob to himself. That's a possibility today. Two Trey Youngs. Number 16 Trey and a number 11 Trey. It's a small backcourt for sure. But hey, they got DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, and Click Appella to, to hold them down on the defensive side of the ball. Then we got the, the Miami Heat. Jimmy Butler having another version of himself on his team? He about to have a lot of fun in practice. I'll tell you that much. That, that boy Jimmy Butler going to be going hand to hand with himself all day, every day. Then we have the Charlotte Hornets, two Lamelo balls. Again, this guy's a rookie, and he didn't do any. You, you don't see nothing changed but his jersey number in this one. Uh, the Jazz have two Donovan Mitchells. One of them will be rocking the small four position. He's 6'1", but I also didn't want to have Mike Conley come off the bench, so we'll see how it pans out. Then we have the Sacramento Kings, De'Aaron Fox and De'Aaron Fox. The, the Oh, we got 91 overall, uh, Julius Randle. And y'all know this dude will be getting the work done. New York got something with that one. Then we got the LA Lakers. Small four LeBron and point guard LeBron. With Anthony Davis, this might be the team that benefits the most. Having two LeBrons, <laughs> having two top yada yada players of all time, you can tell me you don't win the challenge. Next, we got the um, you, uh, the, the the Orlando Magic have John Isaac two times here. We got two Luka Doncic's. Sis, sis, sis. You know, in the playoffs, they were saying that Luka needs a lot of help. Porzingis wasn't that. Well, Luka got help in himself. Curious to see how that pans out. But talk about overpower. Talk about overpower. Here it is. Small 4KD, power 4KD. Who's beating this team in a seven-game series? Who's beating this team in a seven-game series? Not anybody. I don't think. Now we go to, uh, oh, 99 Jokic, because he's a power forward, is elite as well. Um, he's, he's the only player that I've seen that his player model stayed the same, too. Like, for, like you you know, you go to this Kevin Durant. One of them is a fake AI Kevin Durant. This one got the real picture. Jokic's like, nah, I'm myself twice. Like, he really got a twin. I guess his his brother in real life ain't his twin, but they do look similar. Um, 
Demontis Sabonis overall goes down because you make him a center. But hey, two Demontis Sabonises. Zion is running the center position with Zion. So they're 6'7", 6'7", 6'8", 6'1", and 6'6". So they're a small team, but they might be able to get it done. Then we got the Detroit Pistons have two Jeremy Grants. The um, Oh, this is the one thing that was a bit interesting. Because Fred Van Vliet is so small, I did really want to throw him at the small forward position. I think they probably benefit more for having OG in the lineup. You know? So I'm going to keep it that way and let Freddie come off the bench. Next team, we have two Christian Woods, a center and a power four Christian Wood. Two DeMar DeRozas. He's running the power four because if you remember early in this year's 2K, they had DeMar DeRozan at the power four anyway. Chris Paul is here with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. And this team looks even better. I mean, they, they were in the finals in real life. So you know what I'm saying? Two Shea Gills Alexanders. Um, Carl Anthony Towns has some help in himself. And then, not lastly, but two Damian Lillards. Maybe he won't request a trade or probably won't get traded if he's playing um, with another guy of his own caliber. Two Steph Currys. And then you got Klay Thompson and then Draymond Green. And then lastly, two Bradley Beals. Two of everything. I turned salary cap off. Trades are possible. And free, free agency is where I'm really looking forward to the most. Because you never, I don't really know what to expect. Trade deadline is here. I'm going to stop in and see what is going on around the league. Did we have any trade? Come on, bro. No trades? Not a single one? Not one trade? Yo, that's wild. Like, I even, yeah, tr tr automatic trades are on. Is this the first video? Maybe it has something to do with the, I don't know if it's the clones or no salary cap. I expected to see way more trades going to the trade deadline. Definitely more than zero. But, hey, here we are. Luca and Luca are the best dynamic duo in the league when it comes to scoring the ball. Colin Sex is still just getting buckets by himself. Um, how many of these are going to be the clone version? Oh, you couldn't tell which one's the clone. Interesting. Oh, you know how you can tell who's the clone? You go over to their years. This is the clone. This is his only year in the NBA. This is the clone. This is the clone. It's the clone version. Bro, the clone version of everybody is going to be the better one. That makes sense in some cases. But definitely not all cases. Okay, interesting. Let's see who made the All-Star game um, or the award races. It's LeBron and LeBron. 26 and 11 and 27 and 12. <laughs> Rookie of the year is going to either go to LaMelo or LaMelo. Sixth man of the year, it's going to go to Kemba, I guess. Defensive player of the year, it's going to be a version of Kawhi. Or, or the new Jonathan Isaac. Most improved players, Chris Boucher, looks like. Um... And then, yeah, okay, all-star appearances. Here we go. Nope, all-star appearances. Teams. Okay. Okay. First appearance for that Bradley Beal, which means that's the new Bradley Beal. First appearance for that Carl Anthony Towns. That means that's the that's the old Carl Anthony Towns, or the new Carl Anthony Towns. Where's, wait, Joel is here twice. This is really tripping me out. LeBron is here twice. Jokic is here twice. Anybody else? Steph Curry is only here one time, it looks like. Kevin Durant is here two times, and he's playing playing on the same team as himself. Luke is here two times. Dame is here one time. Dame got snubbed. Jason Tatum here one time. Kawhi here one time. And Trey Young here one time. Interesting. Who is the best team in the league? It is the Milwaukee Bucks. Having two Giannis is, like I said, is elite. And out west, LeBrons are dominating. 47-6. <laughs> and six. PG LeBron is elite elite. Um, the Clippers are looking good too. Double Jokic is fire. The Minnesota Timberwolves have come up from a team that has been out of playoffs for a minute other than Jimmy Butler. I ain't forget about the Jimmy Butler. But you know, slightly slight drought. But the worst team is the Spurs. Ooh, double Demar ain't really cutting it. Okay. Oh, double Shea ain't cutting it. They still need help on some of these other positions. And then believe it or not, double Steph Curry's not cutting it. All right, out east, the worst team is Detroit. That makes sense. The Bull, oh, come on, Chicago. Come on, man, you're supposed to be, oh, Trey Young and them? 2K won't put respect on Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks name until next season, I promise you. But the best team is the Bucks. Then we have the 76ers. We have the Celtics and the, any surprises? I guess Washington is a slight surprise, I guess. But that's pretty much it. All right, we're gonna go to the end of the regular season. And see who wins the championship. The twin championship. LeBron wins MVP. And it is the new LeBron. This man's going to be a free agent, ladies and gentlemen. You better get your paper ready because he's here. He's here. Oh, man. He's going to be a free agent. That's tough. Um, LaMelo 
which uh, which version of Melo this is, I couldn't tell you because it's one year in one year. Uh, Kemba Walker, Giannis, new Giannis, and the only Frank Vogel. They won 70 games, 99, 99, 99. You know what I'm thinking about? Here are all NBA teams, by the way. Clone, clone, clone. Not the clone. Not the clone. All right, all right. Oh, one of the clones is here. The other Giannis, the... What? Um, hello? So one thing I am noticing, or what I did notice... Is that the Brooklyn Nets underperform? They're the two seeds, so that's they're still good, obviously. But you see their their lineup right now? That this team should be eighty and two, but they aren't. Here are the final um, standings. The OKC Thunder ended on a fourteen game losing streak. You know, some slight. Let's get into a first round of this playoff. Is Milwaukee moving forward? The Lakers moving forward? Denver. Okay, I, I, why am I trying to read it? There it is. So we got a one, two, three for our East and a one, two, one, two, three, five out West. But hey, our East, pretty much all these series went to seven except for the first one. So, you know, what, what am I trying to say? Parity, maybe, potentially? Or is the one seed going to sweep everything? We'll see. Um, It don't look like the one seed is sweeping at least, but we got a one, three and a one, two. The Battle of LA. Unfortunately, we didn't get this the last two seasons. I think everybody wanted to see it. Um, but we never got it, and here we getting it right now. Two Kawhis, two LeBrons. Let's see how it goes. The Lakers versus the Brooklyn Nets. That's exactly how I kind of expected it to go. I think that's how a lot of people expected the real season to go. Um, without the clones, but it didn't go that way. Here we go. 3-0 Lakers. 3-1. I cannot believe. Oh! Oh, I thought we were about to see a legendary comeback. But this LeBron is a different beast, bro. LeBron is a whole different beast. Now... The question is, does that LeBron stay in L.A.? I want y'all to know there's no shenanigans, but you can see all of these players are here. All of these players are free agents. And we're going to simulate a couple days in. Or simulate the entire thing accidentally. Okay. Jokic went to the Clippers. KD went to the Knicks. Steph Curry went to play with Luka. The Rockets get Joel Embiid. The Raptors get Giannis. The Knicks get Kawhi and Kevin Durant. Oh, my God. The Mavericks... Okay. So, okay, okay. So, this Mavericks team kept both Lucas and brought in Steph Curry. Uh, Dame went to... What, what does your lineup look like? Is Dame the best six-man of all time now? LeBron went to the Raptors to play with Giannis. Oh, my God. Oh, the Jason Tatum. The Bulls get Kawhi. Okay, that's cool. Why am I looking at it this way? I think we just got to go and look at every roster again. But basically what I'm seeing is the Mavericks are elite elite. And nobody's going to be able to mess with them. You know? So here we go. New starting lineup of this team. They lost the real Joel Embiid, but they brought in the fake. I mean, they lost the fake Joel Embiid, but they brought in the fake Christian Wood. He's back. I'm pretty sure he's part of the process. I could be mistaken. Somebody Google me. Um, You know what? Let's, let's just look at this way. Look at this way. The Bulls brought back both Zach Levines and they brought in Kawhi Leonard and Vucevic and Kobe White. That might be a playoff team. We might be a playoff team next season. Um, Jared Allen stays. They brought in the fake DeMar DeRozan in Boston, but they lost Jason Tatum. The Clippers bring in Yoke, 99 Jokic. The Memphis Grizzlies bring back John Morant, of course. Like I said, if you were a young player on your rookie contract, it's weird with your contract situation. Um, Trey Young is bringing in Jimmy Butler. I'm going to make Jimmy Butler a small... Oh, and Donovan Mitchell. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. You decide that. I'm actually not going to fool around with it. The Heat bring in Bradley Beal. Okay. This team didn't do anything. They brought in Montrezl Harrow and Kyle Lowry, I guess. That's something, but it ain't enough to make, you know, make us happy and make us excited about their team. So, bonus went to Sacramento. The Knicks brought in Kevin Durant and Kawhi. How do they do this lineup? Because you can't have Kevin Durant or Kawhi coming off the bench. Do you... 6'10 shooting guard? I think so. Who's your point guard? Some guy you drafted with the ninth overall pick. Or oh, Frank Nielakina. Start Frank Nielakina. Why not? Um, the Lakers bring in Chris Paul and Drummond. Bring Drummond back. All right. Orlando, nothing. And look at this team. Look at this team. Let's say... 
this this guy goes to a, a small forward and now is Luca Steph Curry is Luca Steph Curry and Luca and then Dame coming off the bench I guess <sighs> Brooklyn they basically have the same team um they just lost fake Kevin Durant this team didn't do anything brought in Fred Van Vliet didn't do anything brought both Zions back all right De'Aaron Fox and Jonathan Isaac team up in Detroit. Okay, that's interesting. Toronto has Jason Tatum, LeBron, and Giannis. Um, I'm making this Giannis a center so they can have Pascal. They can have Pascal. No, LeBron, Fred Van Vliet, Jason Tatum, Pascal, Giannis. Seems pretty elite if you ask me. Um, Joel Embiid went with Jeremy Grant. Um, to Houston. San Antonio brings in Julius Randle, which is the weirdest thing that you can think of. Um, Mikel Bridges. Spencer Dembody is here. Anything else? Carthay Towns resigned. Car is Carthay Towns the only guy that wasn't on a rookie deal that resigned with his organization? Maybe. And DeMar DeRozan is now in Portland. And that's pretty much it. Wow. All right. We're going to the trade deadline. All right, so here we are. Trade deadline. Was there any trades this year? There were trades this year. Okay. Um, Marcus Aldridge is in the league. He got traded. The Marcus Cousins gets traded. None of these trades have anything to do with any of the clone players that we talked about, which makes a lot of sense. All-star participants. Here we go. You can pause if you want to. I'm definitely not going through that again. I'm more interested just to see which teams are elite and which teams aren't. The Atlanta Hawks. Elite. Trey Young, Trey Young, and Jimmy Butler. Believe it or not, you get, you get another super passionate guy who plays a lot of defense in Atlanta, you're going to be a good team. The Toronto Raptors, kind of disappointing, honestly. The fact that they're not dominating. I mean, they, I mean, listen, they're 20 games over 500. 20 plus games over 500. So, yeah, they're dominating, but I didn't expect this Atlanta team to be better. Oh, I forgot they had Donovan Mitchell coming off the bench, too. So, I guess so. The Charlotte Hornets, no major deals, but here they are. Top four in the conference, at least at the moment. Worst team. Ah. Uh, well, you know, first overall pick guys looking good. De'Aaron Fox, John Isaac, Jeremy Grant. I, oh, I expect this team to be more than a 13-win team at the deadline. Um, this team is starting a a rookie shooting guard that was a second-round pick. That's no fun. All right, out west, we have the... Yeah. Oh, they got Steph Curry coming off the bench. Okay. Hey, if that's what you want to do, if you want Steph Curry to come off the bench by any means... Look at this team. Double Zion is getting better and better. They're the second team in the conference. The worst team is the Houston Rockets. Ouch. You know, Joel, you putting up great statistics. I'll give you that. Okay. End of the last season. Trey Young wins MVP. And this is the real Trey Young. Um, then we have this guy who the first overall pick winning rookie of the year. Six man goes to Dame. So I guess some of the season they started Dame and some of the season they started Steph Curry. John Isaac wins Defense Player of the Year. Anthony Simons was most improved. And Wayne Casey wins Coach of the Year. All NBA teams. Russell Westbrook, All NBA First Team. Let's turn back the clock there, Russ. All NBA First Team. It's been a minute, bro. Good to see you there. Second team is here. Third team is here. John Morant makes that win. And this is the clone John Morant. And then defensive teams, two John Isaacs um, and two Kawhis on the second team. All right. Here we go. Which team underperformed at the end of it all? Um, he was NBA first team on the worst team in the league. <laughs> all right, voters. All right, all right vo voters. Um, yeah, I'm surprised the Raptors were 10 games behind when it came to that race. Oh, the Pelicans and the Mavericks tied technically with their record. All right, seem like this first round. Anybody getting upset? I see in that conference, the Western Conference at the bottom there. We got a seven game series. And we got, we got an upset. Luka, Luka, Dame, and Steph Curry gets upset by double Ja. Ja Morant. I mean, I'm trying to think of like puns that I can say, but I can't think of a single pun dealing with like somebody having two versions of themselves. So here we go. Round number two. Seven seed is in the conference finals. Ja Morant is out here, bro. One, two, and a one, seven. And this one, they went against LeBron, Anthony Davis, and Chris Paul, LaMarcus Aldridge. Oh, my God. The team seems so old. And that's probably why they lost. They got two John Morants. You know how much energy is in two John Morants compared to LeBron, Chris Paul, and LaMarcus Aldridge? But they met their match because uh, two Zions might be uh, just bully ball, bully ball, bully ball. And then now we have this Raptors team in the in the finals. So they underperformed in the regular, underperformed in the regular season, but they made it to the finals. And that's all that really matters. Who is going to win this one? 
it's it went to seven but it ended up being the pelicans who didn't make any moves this was a bought super team and they lost so just zion being oh Nikhil alexander walker great series i guess what did we learn absolutely nothing but it would definitely it was definitely fun to do this video so again shout out to my guy jacob phillips we appreciate you be sure to leave more challenges in the comment section i know i'm picking my favorites and i'll see y'all tomorrow peace